everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working primarily on this shed, trying to get this shed together. And I have some things I want to share with you guys about that. But first, I'll say, when I first got here today, I was working inside. I just got the ventilation system thrown back together, and I was just checking over what the plumbers had done. Uh, overall, it was fine. There were a couple little issues. Uh, in particular, there was a place where I'd asked them not to drill any holes through verbally. I didn't write it on the wall and they drilled holes through, and now there's pipes running through a living space. Now it's copper pipe, I think that's kind of decorative anyway. It doesn't really bother me that much, except that the way that they drilled the holes is the way you would drill a hole in a place where it doesn't matter how it looks, like you push the drill through and it just breaks you know, the boards out on the backside. So it's kind of ugly looking like that. I mean, I can fix it up and you know, whatever. It's an extra thing to do, and it's just, it's illustrative of what I was saying earlier, where it's like, it's a good idea to be on site when there are people doing stuff because nobody knows as much about your project as you do. At least that's ideally, <laughs> that should be the case. And I just, I, you know, between having to be home for river and not wanting to be sharing the same air with people with coronavirus going around, I wasn't here that much. Uh, and, you know, mo it mo went mostly fine, but, you know, not, not perfect. So anyway, uh, today I'm working on this and I'm, I'm getting the posts ready that go into these little slots the vertical posts that go up here. And uh, the, most of the lumber for this uh, doesn't show up for another week or so, or it's still behind because there was all that like accident where the, the delivery got destroyed. Um, but I do have some scrap here. You can see behind me is all that extra wood from this project. And I'm gonna be using tongue and groove boards, uh, just ripping them down. Tongue and groove boards are what I use for the floors. We get a ton extra, I think maybe because they didn't uh, calculate the fact that there's all those open floor sections in here. So we had enough to do this whole thing, a bunch down in the, uh, the root cellar, and I still got like 40 of them behind me. So I'm going to be ripping some of those down. It kind of bugs me to, you know, be taking like a nice tongue and groove board that's really good for interlocking for a floor and just ripping off the tongue and the groove and using it as lumber. But I got a ton extra and uh, I, don't, I don't really need to make any more floors. So it kind of bugs me to take something that could have a higher use and use it for I guess what's sort of a lower use, you know, ripping off the tongues and the grooves, but, you know, I want to use up my extra scrap lumber, and there's no reason to buy even more of it if I've got it sitting right here. So that's what I'm doing today, and uh, I just got to, the only thing I got to figure out on this structure is the exact pitch of the roof. Uh, I've, I've got some play in it, uh, so I don't have to know exactly what it is right now, but really the point of the structure is holding the solar hot water panels and they're supposed to be at a particular angle. I gotta find out what that angle is so I can make the roof be exactly that angle so the panels can be nice and flush to it so they're not like up at some weird angle or whatever. So that's what I'm doing today, enjoying the beautiful weather because it's not beautiful actually. It's, it's kind of cold. It's been up and down, up and down. Today it's been flurrying a little bit. So that's what I'm up to today. Thanks for watching.